What's up, everybody? Uh, so I went to the uh, the show in White Plains, New York, yesterday, and I uh, figured I'd do a, a quick recap of the show. Uh, just in full disclosure, um, I all my cards are with PSA right now, so I don't really have any cards to show you besides um, this box of 2017 Topps uh, Update Series that I literally just picked up so I could stuff the uh, the epic giveaway winners uh, boxes with a couple of packs <laughs> in there, um, but uh, all in all was a really good show. Um, on the way there, um, I listened to a uh, podcast of uh, Rube Waddell. <laughs> you guys know I've been talking about this guy. I I'm telling you guys right now, if 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 they ever make a movie of this guy Rube Waddell, uh, it's going to be a blockbuster hit. The guy was insane. Uh, I'll try to put a, a link to the podcast if I can uh, in this video. Um, and uh, and then I might have to change my 2018 goals because if, if that happens, it'll probably shoot up the value of his cards. Uh, but who knows if that'll ever happen. Um, so anyway, um, I listened to that on the way there and on the way back and it was absolutely hilarious. Um, then, uh, you know, so I get to the show and, uh, it's like 20 degrees outside in, in New York. Uh, we had a couple of days where it was in the fifties and then of course now it's back down to the twenties again. Uh, it's been brutal, <laughs> a very brutal month and a half. Uh, so get to the show and, uh, I don't know, I have this weird thing. Like I'm, I'm like, oh, well I have 1500 subscribers. So when I get to the show, I'm worried that um, it's going to be, you know, people are going to recognize me. <laughs> they should have like a, uh, like I wish I had like a fantasy versus reality kind of like side by side. Because like I literally, I get, to, I walk up the stairs to get to the, uh, uh, the convention center. And I'm almost like expecting people to be like, oh my God, it's Silver Jackify. Oh my God. You know, I was, I was going to have Mike Piazza sign this, but you, you sign it instead. Uh, and then reality is like, I walk up the stairs and like some New Yorkers just like, uh, dude, the line's over there. Uh, why don't you get in line with everybody else? And people just being freezing cold outside. <laughs> Uh, literally nobody recognized me at the show. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I have 1,500 subscribers. Someone's gonna come over to me and say hello, but um, nah, <clears throat> nobody, uh, nobody uh, saw me. So, which was totally, totally fine, by the way. Uh, so, uh, get to the show. Um, it was jam packed. It was, it was actually really, really cool to see. Um, you know, I, I always like worry about the, uh, the hobby, you know, uh, people always talking about the hobby dying. I've been hearing about baseball dying, uh, since I was, uh, I don't know, six years old, seven years old. I remember my dad, uh, taking me to, um, a, a Yankee game. And I remember, you know, especially in the late eighties, early nineties, there was nobody there. It was like, you know, attendance was like 10,000 people. And I remember my dad being like, see, you know, there's no kids that go to games anymore. Baseball's dying. Uh, and I'm like six and now I'm 39. And my friend the other day, I go to the bar with him to watch the, uh, NFL playoff games. And he tells me the same thing, you know, baseball's dying. They gotta, they gotta be careful. And I'm like, Dude, I've been hearing the same thing <laughs> for so many years. I just want to throw a, a quick stat at you guys. Uh, 2017 attendance, major number one, Major League Baseball, 72 million people. Number two, Nippon Professional Baseball at 25 million. Number three, the NBA at 21 million, NHL 21 million, NFL 17 million, Triple A Minor League Baseball, uh, uh, 13 million. So now I, I get that there's more games in baseball. It's like it's like com when you compare the TV ratings of football versus baseball, which is totally unfair. There's 162 games. So of course there's going to be more attendance in baseball and the ratings are going to be less in baseball because they don't matter as much. But anyway, you know, my point is the hobby is alive. Baseball is alive and well. Um, and uh, it was pretty cool. It, it was uh, jam packed. I, I, like I said, I love to see that. Um, there was, uh, a lot of people in, uh, wearing Mets stuff and I was like, what the heck is going on? Are people like all of a sudden Mets fans? And then I slowly realized that like Keith Hernandez is there. Daryl Strawberry was there. Mike Piazza was there. Um, so I was like, oh, well that's why there's so many people, you know, with Mets hats and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I went to Nathan's, by the way, they have this, if you guys have ever been to the convention center, there's this Nathan's, uh, stand 
And uh, for some reason, I don't know why I did this, but I ordered, um, I was like, oh, they have uh, buffalo, uh, boneless buffalo wings. What That was such a horrible, I ordered the buffalo wings. It was disgusting. It was absolutely disgusting. Uh, I, if, you, if you go to Nathan's, order a hot dog. <laughs> like, what am I doing ordering buffalo wings? It was horrible. Uh, and then the, if you've ever been there, there's nowhere to put your stuff. So you're literally just like, I had a fries, chicken wings, and a, and a, like a gigantic lemonade. And I'm like eating all this without like a table or anything. I'm like standing up eating it. Um, so uh, I had a game plan in mind. Uh, I had... Uh, a voucher, a PSA voucher for 15 submissions that uh, you get as part of being uh, renewing my membership. So I, I, I figure, what the heck, I'll just, uh, you know, maybe get a couple of uh, PSA cards to submit to PSA. Um, walked around. I looked for, um, you, you, uh, you guys know about some of the things I'm looking for, the Frank Robinson. Again, I looked for that in a, a raw version that was nice enough to submit to PSA. Uh, but I just didn't see anything that was really worthy. Um, you know, the cards that I did see were slabbed and they were, um, not the, I wasn't looking to spend big bucks yesterday. Um, I ended up picking up a couple of really cool cards. So I picked up, uh, a 1984 Fleer update, uh, Kirby Puckett, uh, that I've, I, I picked up some cards that I've like always wanted, uh, as a kid and, um, it's, it's not in great condition. I'm, I'm hoping, uh, you know, maybe I'll get a... Uh, uh, an eight, you know, again, fantasy versus reality. Like I'm hoping for an eight or a nine, but I'll probably get like a seven. Uh, so I picked up the, the pocket for your update. I pick up the uh, Eddie M motherfucking Murray rookie, uh, which is a card that I've, again, that I can't believe I don't own at this point, uh, but was able to pick it up on the cheap. Some of these cards, like I I'm just amazed at how cheap they are. I, I almost picked up a Robin Yount rookie just be, just because for like 25 bucks. <laughs> it was like, I was like a Robin Yacht rookie, and it looked like it was pretty decent, um, but it was just, it was really off center, so I passed on it. Uh, I picked up an Ozzy Smith rookie. Again, not a perfect card. Probably, you know, I'm hoping for an eight, but I'll probably get a seven. Um, then also picked up, I went into the, I don't know why, I went into the $5 bin. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of surprising. I've never owned an 89 Tops Update uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card. I've, I own like four of the 89 Upper Deck, and I own, I, I own like 50 of the, uh, the Dunruss, the 89 Dunruss cards, but I've never owned the Tops Update, so I picked that up um, for five bucks. I was like, why not? Uh, it's perfectly centered, beautiful from the front. On the back, if you guys remember that, that card, it has a little bit of black on the back, and then, of course, you can see the white uh, on the side. So, um, I wouldn't be surprised. I actually submitted it to PSA. I was like, you know what? I'll just get it, uh, encapsulated. Um, maybe it'll get a seven or a, a, an eight. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and then I, I picked up a really, really nice, uh, Willie Mays card, uh, that I'm, uh, excited to, uh, see what it gets. So I ended up submitting, uh, 30 cards, uh, to PSA. I had about uh, 25 already prepared, um, I filled out all the submission forms ahead of time. Um, I don't know what PSA is doing. Um, if you guys go to the show today, uh, they are well understaffed. So just be be ready to wait. Even if you have everything filled out, just be ready to just stand there or sit there for a very long time because they have like literally one guy. It's like it's like when you go to uh, you know a store and it's it's jam packed you know at lunchtime and there's 20 people in line and there's one guy behind the cash register and you're like why didn't you hire another guy? Uh, same thing yesterday. It was like one or two guys behind the counter. One guy was standing there answering questions but not helping with the submission uh, of the cards. I had everything filled out. I'm, I'm like just somebody take my cards. <laughs> but uh, I ended up sitting there for you know uh, 40 minutes probably. Uh, uh, and I had everything filled out. I literally, all I had to do was just hand it to the guy. Um, so uh, <laughs> that was kind of annoying. 
so I submitted 30 cards, and then in addition to that, I submitted my two autographs, one of them, which you guys have seen, uh, which is the Don Mattingly. We'll see if that's authentic. Uh, and another card, which was the Index uh, card by uh, DiMaggio that my dad had signed a long time ago. I thought it was kind of cool because the, uh, the PSA guy, he's like, he's like, is that a DiMaggio autograph? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, did you meet him? I was like, well, my dad met him. And he's like, nice. You know, <laughs> and to get like a, a nice from a, a PSA guy is, um, you know, the dude sees everything. So for him to say, you know, nice to, to one of your submissions uh, was pretty cool. So um, all in all, a really good show. Um, it's too bad I didn't see anybody uh, that I that I knew at the show. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking about the national. I know a lot of YouTubers are going to that. I'll see what I can do uh, to make uh, make it to uh, Cleveland this year. Uh, but, uh, anyway, I just wanted to sum it up guys. Um, hopefully if you do go to the show, you could, I, I'd love to hear, um, how it turned out for you. Uh, that's it. I uh, just wanted to do, do my summary of the day. Uh, oh, I have a, uh, Jeter card <laughs> that I picked up a, uh, one of one that is going to blow everyone's socks off. Um, when I do reveal it, I actually have it in hand. I'm not sure when I'm going to uh, show it. I'm going to hold it for a couple of days and uh when i'm ready i will show it to you guys <laughs> so uh stay tuned for that um hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um i don't know sorry no cards to show you today besides this so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later peace